Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the She's Making an Impact podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Ngom. I'm so happy you're here. If you're someone who struggles with time management and uh, really maximizing your time so you can create time freedom, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So first thing, I want to give a shout out um, to everyone who's left a review of the show. I wanted to read one that I just loved. Um, Secrets to Captivating Your Audience is the title. And she said, Rachel Gomez has done it again. She's made interviewing so comfortable that even her guest Tracy was stumped to analyze Rachel's voice because she made Tracy feel so comfortable that there wasn't anything to analyze. Woo. All that to say, Rachel's podcasts are always informative and enlightening because she's gotten really good at bringing out the best in people. Thank you, Rachel and team. And I love that she said, thank you, Rachel and team, because it takes a team to make this happen, which I'll be talking about today. So if you have not left a review of the show, please go do that. That's going to help us reach more people and make a greater impact. And once you do leave a review before you hit submit, just take a screenshot of it and then send that screenshot to clientcatrachelandgloom.com. And I would love to buy you some coffee as a thank you. So that being said, let's talk about time freedom. Um, so here's what I know. I, when I create a business, when I started this business, I'm like, how can I maximize the freedom in my life and have a great business and be a great mom and have time for self-care? Cause I, I learned the hard way, man, back in my network marketing days, I was like all about that hustle. I was working 24 seven. I burnt myself out really badly, gave myself adrenal fatigue, um, leaky gut, gained 30 pounds. I was drinking um, like a half to three quarters of a bottle of wine, um, pretty much on the reg. Uh, it was it was rough, man. And I just like I just completely burnt out, and I felt like a terrible mom. Um, TJ was a one at the time, like he's so busy. That kid. Um, him and Gabrielle are so different. She's like, she'll just be happy standing at the table, like, you know, drawing with crayons and stuff. And he was, I chased him around that entire horse property. We were living on like wild man up and down tractors in and out of cars, hence the wine. Um, he was yeah, so different. Um, so I, I learned, I have to create a business that gives me freedom to, you know, chase my babies, have a lot of fun and do the things I want to do. So like, how, ha- if I choose to take the day off and go to the spa, I can, I usually do that on Friday. It's fun Friday. Heck yeah. Um, if I want to, you know, my mom's in town and I want to spend the day with her, I can do it because I've created a business that has systems and I'm not a slave to my business. So the first thing you got to do is create your vision, know what you're working towards. What's your, what's your vision? What do you want? Like I wrote down what my perfect day looks like. I got crystal clear on what my perfect day is. It includes working. Yes. Uh, cause I love what I do, but I'm not working all day long. I it's like, how can I work and play and take care of myself and have fun and spend time with my family. And it's all in there. So know what your vision is, know what you're working towards. What's your big goal. What's your big goal for the year. And then chunk that down. We do this specifically with our activate students. We do quarterly goal setting for them. So what's your 90 day goal. And then what's your monthly goal? A really good book um, that you should definitely read is called the 12 week year by Brian Moran. And you can accomplish as much as you do in, in like 90 days as you thought you could in an entire year. Like it's wild when you start doing this and you, you like, you're like, I set my one-year goal. What if I could do it in 90 days and you just chunk it down? Oh my gosh, you'll get so much done. Um, think about like you set a goal for the year. Let's say it's like January 1st, my new year's resolution. And then you don't look at it again until next year. This really like challenges you to be very laser and think about, all right, what am I working towards? I got 90 days to make this happen. And then you break it down to the month and then to the week. And then to the day and then to the hour. Speaking of, you should use a planner. You should definitely use a planner. Um, ones that I have used uh, in the past, the Smart Life Push Journal, as well as Michael Hyatt's journal. He sent me a giant box as a gift. Super sweet. Um, those are great, as well as Brendan Burchard's planners. Like they're all great. For all of them though, I feel like there's like something missing. So I might create my own (laughs) of like exactly what I want. Um, so I love using a planner and I'm, I use it the night before. And so I'll write down the night before what I need to do the, the next day. 
So that way, like it's all out on paper and I'm not stressing out and I sleep like a champion because I don't have a million things on my mind of, oh, I need to do this. And I need to do this. And I need to do this too. No, no, no. I have it written down. I have a plan and I know what I'm going to be doing the next day. So use a planner and do power hours. So I teach my students this. I'm like, you got to do a power hour. You can get as much done in an hour if it's focused, laser focused as you did like an entire day. I swear. Um, when I do my power hour, I minimize all distractions. So my phone, it's not in the room with me normally, or it's on airplane mode, or I have like, do not disturb on. I don't have any tabs open. So it's like the one thing that I'm working on. It's this one thing. Um, Tanessa Shears was on the podcast. She's amazing. I love her. You should definitely, um, check her out. I actually worked with her for six months and I, I adore her Tanessa Shears. Um, and she got me hooked onto brain FM. So it's an app that you can download and you can have focus music going on. So it just gets you in the zone. There's something about it. You're just like so into it. So I'll put on brain FM and I'll be in the zone and you set a timer for, you can do 60, 60 minutes and I'll do a 60 minute timer and I'll just be like, boom, focused. So my distractions are gone. I don't have Gmail. I don't have Facebook open. I, I got none of that. I'm working for that 60 minutes. Then when the timer goes off, I'm up, I'm walking around, I'm stretching. If I do two power hours in a day, maybe I do two. It's rare that I do three because I really don't work that much. Uh, but if I do, then that happens. Um, it's rare though. Use Google Calendar. I just did a training for our students on what my calendar looks like. I adore Google Calendar and I set up like reoccurring tasks in there. I have my workout blocked out in there. And time freedom, it's what you need to do to live a really cool life, the life that you want. And for me, that includes exercise and being high energy uh, so I can feel my best every single day. And so that's on my calendar every day. I got reoccurring tasks. And so that's a part of using systems. So create systems that you do it once and then you set it up over and over again. So we create, you know, standard operating procedures, SOPs in our business. So if there's something that we're doing, over and over again, you know, do it once, create a system around it and then pass it off to somebody else. <laughs> so you don't have to keep doing it, which goes into building a team. Um, man, the team gives you real freedom. Um, you know, like you can take a vacation and you're don't have to check your email. Like when you have, you know, students or clients or all these things, if you don't have a team to support you and there's a problem, you need to be the one to take care of it. And I did not want that. I'm like, how can I have a team? So they're there, um, to take care of things. So I don't have to be there all the time. And so I've talked in the past on, uh, past episodes of what our team looks like. Um, we don't have like a massive team, but it's a team that we're small and mighty. We get a lot done. We help a lot of people. They're great people that have been with us for years, like since the beginning. And so like, we know how each other works. Um, and I trust them. I trust them a lot. And that means a lot. So like, I think of Helen is our head coach with an activate. I trust her with our students. Um, so like if I'm taking the week off, let's say I trust that she's there if she's handling things and she's in the side of the Facebook group, she's leading the call. She's been around me for years. She was like one of my very first students inside of the program. So she knows like exactly what I would say, exactly how I would coach, um, and everything. So having her there, I just feel like that peace of mind. I think of Michelle who does all of our customer service, when we get emails, someone can't access Kajabi. Someone's trying to purchase. There's a link broken, like all these things. I know that she's there to respond to those emails and people aren't going to be, you know, stranded or all those things. So having a team, you don't have to have a massive team. And, you know, when I started off, it was, I started with Ariana who she started doing, you know, customer service and just some of the tech and creating systems for us. Um, and she's, you know, that her role has evolved into now being our OBM, our business manager, and really taking care of a lot of other stuff. But you want to have a team around you so you can really focus on your zone of genius. So I have Lizzie who does her, she's editing the podcast and she's 
you know, giving me a gentle nudge. Hey, Rachel, we don't have any more podcasts in the queue. Um, can you, can you help me out? So yeah, yep, yep. I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, so I'm creating a podcast that I'm then we have a system with zoom where it automatically records automatically gets uploaded. Lizzie gets notified. Hey, we have a podcast here for you to edit. Lizzie edits it. She does a great job. Then she puts it on our blog. She puts it on, um, iTunes and all the places that you listen to podcasts. And I just have to show up and teach. And that's what I love, love, love to do. Not that I'm not good at some of the other stuff. Could I edit the podcast? Totally. But if I'd spent my time editing that podcast, I'd have less time with my family. And so ultimately it comes back to that vision of what do you want to create? Okay. And then create passive income streams. So when it comes to that vision, you want to think about how you want to create your business and what your income streams are going to look like. There are many ways you, that you could be earning money. And when it came down to it, I've always been really strategic of how can I create income streams? So I'm not trading time for money. So I am working smarter, not harder. And most everything in our business is passive. I, yes, I do like life challenges and live webinars and stuff like that. Um, I just, I love like the energy and showing up and being there real time with people, but we also have a lot of passive income streams like affiliate income and all other things that don't rely me being there. So if you're only working with clients and let's say you have 10 clients that you're working with and you know, you work with them an hour each week and it's every week I did this. I had almost 10 clients, I think 10 private clients. I was working with them every single week. And then if I wanted to take a vacation or have some time off, I had to book all of them on one day. I was like, Oh, that was a busy day. That was a lot. I don't want to do that. Um, so I got out of pretty much working with clients privately. I do a little bit, but it's, I will not take on 10 clients ever, and it's going to be structured differently. So think about how you want to earn income. I love, you know, creating online courses. That's a great passive income stream. So you can create it once and then continue to sell it. And you could sell it through an evergreen webinar. You could sell it through a challenge. Like there's a lot of different ways that you could do it. Evergreen meaning like you do the webinar once and then people can register for it at any time. You could be sleeping and people are registering for that webinar and buying your course. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, and then to create time freedom and to really have time freedom, you got to keep your energy high. If your energy is low and you're showing up and like getting through a power hour, you're just like dragging. Oh, it's hard. So keep your energy high, like take care of yourself really take care of yourself. Like make sure you're moving your body, you're exercising, you're putting good stuff in your body. Um, I'm wrapping up a year of no alcohol, which is crazy. Um, given how much I enjoy wine and champagne. And I'm like, Oh, I could do another year. Like it's no big deal. When I like made up my mind, I also just started doing a no sugar, no sweetener, even like no stevia, no sweeteners. Um, and I'm going to do 30 day challenge, but I'm probably going to extend it to a year because I want to really take care of myself so I can show up at, to my best, like my absolute, absolute best. When I was doing challenges in the past, I used to worry about like, oh my gosh, am I going to lose my voice? Like my voice is starting to go. And now when I gave up drinking and it's not like I drank a ton. Um, yeah, when TJ was one, I did, but then after that, I learned my lesson and, um, it was like a couple drinks on the weekend, um, usually like Friday, Saturday, but ever since I gave up alcohol this year, I don't worry about losing my voice. It's not a thing. Um, which is really, really cool. <laughs> so I can create more content and show up for you more. Um, so keep your energy high. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Um, last thing, two, two actual, two things I want to add on to that. And you could tell like when a podcast is scripted and when it's not right, you can tell this is absolutely not scripted. Um, we're here, we're sitting, we're having a conversation. Imagine you're like sitting down on the couch with me. We're drinking coffee because I, I kept coffee. Um, you can have your champagne, no problem. Um, drink a glass of champagne for me. Two things that I want to add to that. Wake up early. So I wake up early, which means I go to bed early, which means I optimize my sleep. That's something Tanessa really helped me with. So I'm in bed 
um, asleep between eight 30 and nine. Yes. And I'm awake between five and six. I never set an alarm. I want to make sure my body gets the rest that it needs. And so I wake up naturally. Um, get, I cut Gabrielle to sleep and stay in her crib until 6 a.m. Hallelujah. Um, usually around that time I'm like been awake, got my morning routine in. And then the last thing is ask for help. Like, don't try to do everything on your own. Don't try to be, um, like the person that can do all the things. Cause then you end up doing nothing well. So if that's like, I need to ask my, my hubby for support so I can do this thing. Like, Hey hubby, can I get an hour? Will you watch the kids? Can we get a babysitter so I can have a power hour? Don't be a hero. Ask for help. That's a hundred percent what I have done. I, and I learned this through leadership of, you know, ask for the help that you need so you can get the things that you need to get done, done. Okay. So big takeaways, your vision, use a planner, have a power hour, minimize distractions, use Google calendar, create systems, build a team, create passive income streams, keep your energy high, wake up early, ask for help. If you found this helpful, take a screenshot, tag me on Instagram at she's making an impact. I would just love to have a conversation with you and to know like what really resonated with you. Um, and what kind of content would you like to see me create? So just shoot me a DM. Um, I'll always respond. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here. I hope you take action on today. If you're going to do one thing, start using Google calendar. Cause I swear they'll, they'll change. They'll change, change, change your life when you use it effectively. Okay. That's it for me. Um, I'm going to go hang out with my babies. So have a great day. I'll talk to you later.